you guys, it's me, Art Nero with Spanky Girl. After a long little searching, finally, we're able to call three boxes of structure deck lost. Wait, where are the boxes? Oh, there you go. A lot of you have questions, how am I able to get these boxes? Are these sold out already? Well, so now what is that? Well, I'm so excited to unbox this with you guys. Make sure to guys hit the like and subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to be updated with the game below. Let us do the unboxing video. So fast, makes me feel alive. My heart beats. Let's unbox the structure deck or lost sanctuary. So you have this. Arrival of the Sun God Pack. We also have this awesome game mat. Wow. And at the back, you will see the balls. It also blends with the cards in Burst of Destiny, Bond of Majesty, Lightning Overdrive, Blazing, Vortex. We have the cards. Let's just focus the art. Look at that. Let's smell it. Just kidding. I so love the artwork. New spell card. And Lost Sanctuary. This one. And then of course, we have shiny balls. Shiny balls. One of the most awaited reprints ever. And Eva Nibiru. So we have two types of balls here. Right? But this one is huge, right? Huge. And then the original Sanctuary in the Sky, Pot of Desires. And the Agent of Saturn. And then another ball, but this one, this is in Common Rarity. And then the Art Lord Christian. And watch out for the part 2 of this video, because he will do like an optimal build just using these structure deck. was able to secure super rarity so i think i might use that instead time to wrap the bonus pack but let's just be careful in using this oh so we have the master flare boss monster as the secret rare we have the agent of moon we have this spell card which is very nice because it searches earth and of course at least it's a super rare treatment for earth Time to unwrap the second topper pack. Let's see what we can get. So I'm really hoping that I can get this instead. So that I have one synchro and then one moon. Alright, all clear. It's not secret aware. Let's see if we will get the secret player moon. It's okay. It looks like we will get the secret treatment for either Venus or Earth. Alright! Look at that. Nice. And a super rare Venus. Last box! And of course, the topper pack! The last topper pack! Huh. <gasps> oh my god! Yes! Looks like we're able to uh, accomplish our mission to get the link and the synchro as our sick wear. Time for us to rate the box. Hey, so first things first. Um, for one to ten, is the box uh, worth getting? A ten out of ten because not only that the box. Includes staples like Harpy Scatter Duster, Rengeki. It also includes these metal worthy staples like Artifact Lancea. We have the uh, Nibiru. And we have the Sars. This is a great box to get if you're a starting player or a seasoned player. 
that wants to compete their staples. So, 10 out of 10. In terms of being the box playable outside, I'd say uh, it's gonna be an 8 out of 10. Because if you'd like consistency, or if you'd like to be more competitive, you would want to get the Diviner of the Herald. Get a bunch of extra decks that are hard to find. As promised, we're going to create a video just for you guys to see if we can create semi-competitive build out of three boxes. So, hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. For more exclusive videos like this, be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and don't forget to share in the comment section which cards would you like to get as well. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.